Okay, guys, this is the video for chapter 1.0. Um, what I've done is already opened up my title block, which is going to be the template we use each time we make a drawing. And if this screen comes up, you can right away just get rid of that, close it, and you should see, I'm using the scroll button, you should see a drawing and engineering graphics technology. Okay, um, since mine is already set up, I'm going to kind of tear it down and build it back up, show you what we're looking for, and you only have to do this one time. Um, just a couple little pointers. There's a lot of things going on with AutoCAD. We're just going to touch on a few as we go along. Um, there are two spaces right here. One is the title block, and the other is the model space here. Here's where you do all your drawings. You go to your model tab. Okay, if you can imagine AutoCAD is built upon layers of um, layers of many drawings stacked on top of each other and it's a little different than inventor what you're used to in other words we're going to have a layer for dimensions we're going to have a, a different layer for center lines and a different one for the actual drawing and here's where the layers are located and i'm just going to come up here layer properties and i'm going to right click out here and say new layer and I'm going to name it um, dimensions I'm gonna create I'm gonna come out here again right click new layer and I'm going to call it center lines Another one, I'm going to call new layer, hidden lines. And the last one that we're going to use for right now is object lines. Okay. And each one of these layers that we created has a different color object we're going to leave it because we have a black background we're going to use white here hidden lines click that little area here and choose cyan hit ok dimensions are going to be green ok and center lines are going to be red ok I'm going to go I'm going to choose object lines and check that off and it'll be my current layer so when I come out here, object lines is the first thing I see. If you do not have this menu listed up here, um, come down to your command line, and all you have to do is type in menu bar. Enter. And if, you, if this is not 1, it, it'll probably be 0. Just type 1 and enter. But since mine is 1, I'm just going to leave it there. That's what I want. Hit enter. And that just gives you this different toolbar here. A um, couple more things we're going to do. I'm going to come down here to dynamic. Let me just right click that. Settings. I'm going to go to polar tracking. Turn that on. Object snap. I'm going to select all. We'll show you what that does later hit OK. Now I'm going to draw the first exercise that's in the book um, which is the guide plate in chapter 1. So I'm going to go to line and I'm going to come out here anywhere. Here's the origin but you don't have to start there. I'm going to just come out here draw one line make sure to see how it straight type in 5.5 .5. Enter. Then I'm going to tell it which way I want to go, and I'm going to go 6.5. Enter. This way, 6.5. Enter. And then I'm going to hit Escape. I'm going to 
go back to the line command, come down here, and see how it snaps to that endpoint. Get the green box, lead it straight up, type in 2.5, enter. Come over this way, 2.5, enter. And up, straighten it up, 3, enter. And then just close that out. You'll get the snap to the endpoint right there. Hit escape. Okay, that's our perimeter. Um, we need a circle. So we're going to go here. Before I do that, I'm going to show you another way. Here's, let me show you a different command, offset. I know that circle is going to be 3 inches above the bottom line here. So I'm going to type in 3, enter, and I'm going to offset that line up. I'm going to go back to offset, type in 2.5, enter, and offset this line over. And now I have the center of my circle, and the radius is going to be 1.25. Now, if we want, we could come here and just erase those lines. Let's see. Enter. I'm going to hit my space bar. It takes me back to the last command. Enter. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to offset. And I'm going to offset 1.5. Enter. Down. Then I'm going to offset. 5, enter. Okay. Go to circle. And it's 0.75 radius. I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to erase that line. Okay, now, that is my completed drawing. But we also have to put dimensions on it. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back to my layer properties and show you all of these line types are continuous. But for center line, we don't want a continuous line. We want a center line. So what I did, I just clicked on right here, and I have to load the center line. So I'm just going to come down here, then alphabetical order. Oh, past it. Just grab one of these, center, hit OK. Hit OK. I'm going to go, while I'm here, I'm going to go to hidden lines. I'm going to load it. Go down to hidden. Hit OK. Now, I'm going to go to center and check it off. Make that the current layer. And X out of that. I'm going to go to line. I'll pick the center. One more thing I got to do. Hit escape. Um, let me just check this one more time. That's good. That's all good. Okay. I need to make sure that this is all by layer. So as I do it, I'll change it. Go right here, drop down, and make sure it's on by layer. And then I can go line. Hit enter. I'm going to go back and erase this one. Then I'm, what I'll do just to make sure all the lines are the same, I'm going to copy. I'm going to copy. Right click. Grab the end of that line. Bring it down to here. Go back to copy. Grab both of those lines. Bring it out here. Go to rotate. Grab it in the middle. Rotate it. Then copy. Or actually, we'll just move it. So go to move. Over to here. Now I can copy all of those. Just touch out, just run over to the outside of that circle and it gives you the center. Click OK. Then I'll, I'm going to hit Escape. And I'll just come over here, maybe click that line, 
move this out a little bit. I'm just clicking, going to that blue grip, left clicking, and left clicking again. Click the line, click the grip, move out, hit escape. Now, we want to go to dimension. Now I'm in my dimension layer and we're by layer. So, a lot of times you're going to have to do a lot of, um, just remember this part right here, format, dimension style, modify. And we want primary units, that all looks good. Go to symbols and arrows. And I'm just going to make that three for right now. We may have to come back and change that. And whatever symbols and arrows, do the text the same height. So I'm going to make it that three. Yeah, hit OK. Let's just see where we are. Let's go to linear dimension. I'm going to pick the corner. And I'm going to pick the end of that line. And that's, see how that's way too big. So maybe I should have left it the way it was. I'm going to go back to format, dimension style, modify. Let's go back to point one two five symbols and arrows point one two five hit OK close and that looks pretty good go back to linear you gotta zoom in pretty close because if you don't you may pick the end of this line but what we want to do is pick that corner and the end of that okay now linear pick the bottom linear zoom in let's go to radius hit your space bar choose a circle again now we have all three dimensions for the circles. I'm going to go back to linear and I'm going to zoom in to this corner and I'm also zoom in to the very top make sure I'm picking the corner. Zoom out I'm going to go linear again time there. Now we pretty much have all the dimensions um, and this will be what we need here. We could put an angle dimension on here and you could go here and do angular. Choose this line, this line and put that here. Okay this for right now this is a this is our first video to show you how to create that part and ne in the next video I'm going to show you how to bring it bring it from model space to the title block and how to print it. So if you have any problems just keep go, go back over this video and uh, practice and get to get this completed until before you go to the next video.